Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! Oh my god you guys, I've missed saying that so much, but I am finally back after my small summer break and today we will build a lovely habitat for the West African lion in the Elm Hill City Zoo. If you've guys been following this series for quite some time, you probably know that we are building a wildcat house in the zoo. So we are adding uh, different wildcats like tigers, like cougars, like leopards one by one and adding them to this huge building. So today it is time to add the lions to this building. Lions were always very requested animals by you guys. Since I started my channel, I got so many uh, comments under my videos that you guys would like to see me build for the lions. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am for today's build and that you will like it in the end because I most certainly really, really like it. As you guys can see, I did like a shell of this entire habitat before I started recording. This is because this habitat looks just like uh, the Siberian tiger habitat that we did some time ago. So if you'd like to see in detail how I for example do, did this moat or the fence or the building itself, you probably should watch the Siberian tiger habitat. I will put the link down in the description and on the screen. I just you know did it earlier for this video not to be too long as you guys can see it is still a, a like oh, almost 13 minutes half an hour so quite a long video but I figured that we won't repeat the things that we did in another video I will just do it before and actually it took me so much time this habitat I think I was building it for two, two weeks to be honest uh, because it took firstly it took so so much time to nail like the shape of the habitat and also to build like a to build the other side of this building because even though I already had it the same like shape on the other side, the angles were completely different. So I had to rebuild it all and also make sure that it's symmetric it's you know fits it looks nice so this measuring this you know uh doing the right angles the right shapes and so on took me so much time that i was actually surprised because i thought that it will be a relatively quick habitat but uh this and also heat waves in my country that that this year i quite exceptional just like in whole europe it was so hard to sit in front of my computer when i had like I don't know, 28 degrees at home. Uh, I really like my apartment, but it is at the top floor. So uh, when the roof gets hot because of the sun, my apartment gets also really, really hot. And that's why sitting in front of a computer I just don't feel like it because it's even hotter uh, and also I prefer to spend this time outside with my friends doing something you know some road trips going to different cities and so on so that's why there weren't too many videos lately uh, I will also after this video I think I will uh, also record one video from the Jurassic World Evolution 2 where we will start another park which is quite exciting and then there will be another break because I'm going for my vacation uh, to Spain. Uh, I cannot wait. Uh, this will be just, you know, uh, laying on the beach and, <laughs> and resting, so I cannot wait for that. I had quite a lot of work recently also. Uh, so after that, I am going back fully into business. We are building Elm Hill City Zoo. We are doing uh, the Desert Adventure Park and I will record a lot of videos because I miss playing this game so, so much and building this habitat like really made me excited for the future. Okay, so just a quick update of the things that you guys can expect in the near future uh, so you know what you can expect and also a really, really important thing. We are so close to reaching 10,000 subscribers. Uh, while I am recording this voiceover, I am missing only 30, 40 
sorry, subscribers until we get 10,000, which is just crazy. And I know that I promised you guys a celebration video uh, for 10,000 subscribers. We did this poll on the channel. And of course, the giraffe habitat for the Elm Hill City Zoo won fair and square. Uh, more than half of you wanted to see the giraffe. So we will make it, but it will have to be delayed because uh, I can predict already that I will reach 10,000 before I will be able to, uh, you know, record that video because of my vacation. So when I will be back, I will make sure to record this video, although you guys will have to wait for it a bit. And also there is some other exciting news for my channel that I won't tell you guys. This is like a secret project that I'm making. Uh, so I hope you will be excited for that as well. And you will like this little secret project project that will be on my channel I think in September but uh, I won't tell you anything more okay so let me describe now what we are doing here if you are new here I am always trying to update the people who are joining because there is too so many new faces in here on the channel uh, that if you haven't watched my previous videos you can kind of be confused what we are doing here so uh, there is quick reminder of the things that we are doing. Uh, we are building a zoo, a city zoo, and in this zoo there is this wildcat house, the huge building that will include eight different wild cats. We've already built uh, the enclosures for four of them, the, that was the snow leopard, the cougar, uh, the Siberian tiger, and the armor leopard from the conservation pack, and right now we are adding lions. Uh, still we'll have four more. Sorry, did I say that this building will include eight? No, it will include nine animals, nine wild cats. Uh, so uh, we are uh, like halfway through. We built for five by this point when I've added the lions, and we'll have four more. Uh, so the lion habitat is sort of like a mirror image of the uh, Siberian tiger. This whole building is all about the symmetry. So the shapes of the enclosures that we've built on the left side will be very similar to the enclosures that we will build on the right side. This is the first enclosure that I'm building on the right side. We'll have some more uh, in the future. Uh, so this is uh, very similar to the uh, Sib Siberian tiger habitat that I did some time ago on channel again the link is down in the description if you like to see that uh, but of course I wanted to make it a bit different uh, I didn't want to make it very similar to the one that we've built and of course uh, the lions live in the herd or a pride I think you call it a pride of lions and uh, so I knew that I wanted to have a bit more space for them that for tigers uh, so the habitat is a bit bigger it also uh, will include the uh, a backstage area like a holding pen in the back just to give the, those cats a bit more chances to hide from the guests for some more privacy and also more more space to roam around it uh, it will include of course the outside part and the indoor part just as all the enclosures in this house do and the indoor part in here will be more like in this deserty savannah style because as I told you guys uh, we are going for you know cats from different regions so we started with those cl uh, colder climates with the snow leopards and cougars then we went through the tigers and armor leopards and now we are coming to more like dry lands so we will have the uh, the lions now and then some other uh, wild cats so as you guys could see at the beginning of this video I've built this huge rock, rock formation uh, that I created using the technique that I am using all the time lately. Uh, this is what I learned from one of the Leaves video. He's amazing content creator in Planet Zoo and uh, I love this technique. I am using it all the time and I always try to uh, like uh, give him a shout out because uh, this just changed the way that I am playing this game. So. Uh, again, I am using it here. I created this huge rock formation in the middle. I wanted to make it a bit different than the Siberia Tiger when we had this uh, rock formation in the background, like in the back of the habitat. So uh, the whole like outside part was like in the front of this uh, rock formation. And now the rock formation will be in the middle. So the lions will be able to walk around it. Uh, 
I didn't want to, I didn't have any intention for it to look like a pride rock from The Lion King. This wasn't my insp inspiration, but when I actually finished it, I thought that, hmm, it looks a bit like a, like this pride rock from Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but this wasn't my attention at all. Uh, but actually, I like it. Why not? Why not have a bit more like themed habitats for the ty for for the lions? Uh, so we have sort of like a pride rock in here, a bit more planted, of course, uh, because I uh, always like to include those like creeping plants on those log formations because I think they look a bit more interesting that way. Uh, then I made made sure that the tigers will have some sort of elevation. Uh, did I say ch tigers? Yeah, I said tigers. I am always confusing them. I don't know. I am calling the uh, tigers lions and I am ca calling the lions tigers and I don't know why. Sorry guys, if you'll hear tigers again, just uh, <laughs> just ignore it. Uh, so yeah, uh, for the lions to have some, you know, different elevations for them to climb on uh, so they can lie on those rocks and so on. We see that uh, like very often in zoos. Uh, uh, that they have some interesting uh, rock formations, so I wanted to do that as well. Of course, I wanted to make this habitat look a bit special because we all know how iconic the lions are. When you go to the zoo, the lions are some uh, an animal that you just expect to see in a zoo because they are so iconic. So many different zoo around zoos around the world have them, uh, house them, and we couldn't be worse. We also need to have, the, have them especially because so many of you guys wanted to see me build for them uh, so uh, finally the Elm Hill City Zoo has the lions. This habitat wasn't inspired by anything I didn't have a clear inspiration uh, a habitat that I saw online or something I just wanted to fit it inside of this area I, I had this building that is obviously very inspired by the Alfred Brem house in the tier park Berlin uh, so I wanted it to fit in there and look nice uh, so yeah a lot of rocks I used here the tropical rocks I think that they look really nice with like the sandy terrain sandy textures uh, at first I quite of didn't want to add too many trees in there I wanted to make it look more like deserty but uh, after looking at pictures of different zoos I like saw that, I, that the lions often have a lot of trees because because they like to lay in the shadow, I think. Uh, so I decided to, you know, give them a bit more trees in there. Uh, you won't see like all the plants added here. You didn't see me adding the plants to the other side of the wall, uh, just because I don't want to make this video too long. So I uh, just showed you guys how I do the foliage here, how I add small rocks here, how I add different details, the enrichment items, and then I skipped a bit, not to bore you guys with all this boring stuff repetitive stuff because I am always using the same plants the same rocks because I have my set that I know that always looks good of course I try to you know make it a bit different for every habitat this habitat in particular is a bit more like dry uh, than the ones that we did for the tigers probably or the amur leopards were which were more inspired by you know the mountain climate and so on this is definitely inspired more by more by the savanna so we will have much much more like those dry uh, dry bushes and dry grasses so the lions i've always wanted to build for them on the channel i am so happy that we finally are adding them because as i told you guys i think that they are such an iconic animal this is just a king of all animals as you know we like to say and I also think that they are really common in zoos. Of course, I'm not a big fan, as many of you guys, of the uh, model of the lion in the Planet Zoo game. Uh, this is because it is so outdated. The mane of the male lion looks a bit... Just know that, uh, like Frontier is on such a good level right now with its animals, the new models are just amazing and I am one of those people that would love to see the uh, remaster of the lion because I know, I've, I'm sure that if they will do it right now it will look so 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 much better. But the thing that I hate the most about the cats from the base game, just like the lions, 
is their traversable area. I know that I am talking about it uh, in almost all my videos, but some of the animals have such a good traversable area, you can add so, so, so many details to their habitats, and you always know that they will be able to walk around it, to, you know, use it fully, and with animals like lions, when you add too many details, suddenly they cannot move, they cannot go anywhere, uh, so I had to actually delete some of the things that you see there that I'm adding uh, from this habitat because it just wasn't traversable for them unfortunately. I also learned that this salt wharf sold something bush from the conservation pack is something that actually prevents them from uh, you know walking from traversing I don't know why I thought the animals are able to walk through it but it's you know uh, apparently they are not uh, so I had to delete a lot of those bushes I had to delete a lot of rocks because I just wanted them to be able to go around this uh, rock formation just to use this habitat fully I was so frustrated that but for a second I considered to download this mod that you have for this game that you can, you know, uh, that uh, the animals don't require so much space to go through the certain areas but I decided, okay, I won't do it. Many of you guys are not using mods uh, so uh, if you will download this house, download this uh, whole building, when I will finish it I want you guys to be able to use it, to, for your animals to be able to use it uh, without you having to download any mods uh, so that's why I thought okay I will rebuild it I will delete those things and actually it was a lot of work this habitat took me as I told you guys a bit about two weeks to complete just because it was so hot in here and also uh, I struggled a bit with inspiration then I had to do a lot of work with the walls of the building with those those glass uh, I mean the windows and all the stuff took so so much time and I'm so so glad that I finished it because I think that from now on uh, the, uh, all the habitats in this building won't be so difficult to build uh, we will still have four uh, two of them will be very very easy and two of them will be quite easy <laughs> so I am sure that we won't have any problems finishing this house in the future when I'll be back from my holidays I will go and sit and try to finish it as soon as it will be possible of course not forgetting about my other projects here on YouTube so when it comes to the outside part of the habitats what I used here were mainly uh, different kinds of grasses and bushes some trees and a lot of different rocks I, uh, as you guys could see, I always make my own pallets, like uh, in the front of the habitat uh, of different rocks. I used two different piles of the rocks that I did myself, one from those little fall rocks and one from the, like those pillars that I sank in, in the, into the ground and they create this really cool, like a uh, pile of rocks and a lot of dead trees. This is also really common for the big cats uh, habitats. They have a lot of those... Uh, trees they can climb on they can you know scratch on and stuff like that so that uh, that is what I wanted to use in here for some detailing I also added a lot of those uh, tree trunks that I always like to rotate so the roots are up in the air and they create those you know uh, little dry like branches or something uh, this is really cool for detailing your like planted areas and also in some parts I used the um, birch branches that were made by leader that I'm using in almost all my habitats so you guys are probably familiar with those uh, and yeah I needed to add them here as well Right now, as you guys can see, I am building a separation area or a holding pen uh, for the lions when it's when the keepers need to like separate them, for example, because there are some conflicts within them in the pride. Uh, sometimes the females are, you know, fighting with a male, uh, so the male needs to be separated. Uh, I know we had something like that in my local zoo when the females like they didn't accept the male and there were some fights, but 
after some time they were able to settle in uh, and now is everything fine uh, and yeah I thought that this is important when you have a bigger herd of animals to have something like this to have this opportunity to separate them so I decided to make this holding area and also it made the whole uh, habitat bigger uh, so because there's so many details and the traversable area was so so low uh, this additional space was uh like a relief of space. Uh, they are really fine with the space. I have four tiger tigers. Again, tigers. Four lions in this habitat. I thought of adding more, but then I thought, okay, the zoos probably don't have large prides of lions. Normally there is like three of them, four of them, or even a pair of them. Of course, there are some examples where there are more, but I didn't want to go over the top. We are still trying to make the zoo realistic. So I decided to go for four and we have one male and three females. When it comes to the holding pen, I will also do those sliding doors so that the lions can be actually separated. I just can move them whenever I want because the like the sliding thing, like this metal thing is one piece so I just can, you know, move it. Whenever I can, I can close them off but I don't see the point and I will probably not use it in the future. In a minute, I will start to work on the big inside part of this habitat. The lions and the Siberian tigers will have the biggest inside parts. Uh, they are like really detailed, they have different elevations. In here, I, as I told you guys, I wanted to make it look a bit more like savanna. So we are using the desert rocks, we are using a lot of dry uh, plants, uh, and we are using quite a like almost similar background as we did for the tigers. I copied it over a bit, I just changed the colors. And this is shortly speaking how the inside area will look like. There will be also backstage area behind it, but I won't do it uh, here in the video. I will just show you the uh, finished like, product in the cinematic shots by the end of this video. Okay, and before we are done, let me give you guys some fun facts about the West African lions because they are quite interesting animals. So, as you guys probably know, lions are the only cats that live in groups. A group or a pride can be up to 30 lions depending on how much food and water is available. Female lions are the main hunters while they are looking for food, the males guard the pride territory and their young. A lion roar can be heard up to 8 kilometers away. A lion scent marks their territory using their wee to create a border. In Planet Zoo we actually have the West African lion which has been classified as a separate subpopulation uh, that is ranging over 5 countries in Africa. The Benin, Burkina Faso, Niger, Nigeria and Senegal. The main threats of this subpopulation are the habitat loss and also conflicts and killings by the farmers because they attack their livestock. This subpopulation is estimated at a bit more over 400 individuals with 90% of them persisting in the conservation complex in the country of Benin. There's not much visible difference between the West African lion and the other subspecies of lions. It is some similar in general appearance and size as, as lions in other parts of Africa and Asia. It just lives in this particular part of Africa. Okay, as you guys can see, we are fully working on the inside part of the lion habitat. Uh, I really like this, this inside part. I think it looks like a typical inside uh, part of the habitat in a typical zoo. I've been to Berlin Zoo recently when I saw uh, the really similar one. I was a bit inspired by it. It of course looked a bit different. It, they had like this really like beautiful painted background of the savanna in there. Uh, I also thought about it but then I decided not to do it because we haven't used it in other habitats and I wanted to be cohesive with the other ones that we already have in here. Uh, 
Building with a ceiling or a roof uh, is never ideal. I always prefer to build uh, the interior first and then add the roof because then it's easier to operate the camera in this game. Uh, but I just did it before to have this like shell of this uh, habitat done. Uh, so I had to deal with this. Uh, and that's why maybe the camera movements are a bit too, like wild inside. But I hope you guys will be okay with that. So my main goal for those rock formations inside was that the lions were actually be able to use them. So I added a lot of those hay beddings on top of them so they will have the reason to go there to lie and on there. So uh, the guests will see uh, this really cool image of the lion li like lying on this huge rock formation, just as we always see in cartoons and movies. Okay guys, so the video is slowly coming to the end. Uh, I will of course finish the inside part of the habitat and then I will do the backstage and uh, like area around this habitat off camera and you will guys be able to see it all in the cinematics by the end of this video. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to see how this whole area is looking right now. I hope you guys are happy that I am finally back, that the new videos are coming. Uh, Thank you by the way for all the messages, uh, many of you guys ask me where I am, uh, so yeah, I am finally back. And really exciting times for my channel are coming, we are also so close to 10,000 subscribers, so if you guys would like to help me reach this goal, please uh, click the subscribe that button down below. Okay guys, so this is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this lion habitat and you are happy that I finally had time to build for those guys because they were so, so requested by you. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as I to just told you guys, please consider to subscribe to my channel uh, if you would like to see new videos from me, if you would like to help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. Also, of course, comment down below if you enjoyed today's video and tell me what are the cats that you would like to see me build for in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!